Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsorry.com. Today we will be discussing the second part of the first chapter that is the diversity of living world. In this video we will be discussing these topics. What is biodiversity? How is taxonomy different from systematics? Why we need a scientific name? What is binomial nomenclature with an example? Starting with what is biodiversity? Let us take that term biodiversity. Bio means life and diversity means variety. Biodiversity simply refers to the number and variety of different types of organisms present on earth. That includes all living organisms, plants, animals, microorganisms, everything. Non-species are approximately 1.7 to 1.8 million. As per the recent studies, 70, more than 70% of species are unknown. Moving into the second term, that is what is taxonomy? Let's take that term. Taxis means arrangement and nomus means law or rule. So it is a lawful arrangement or lawful classification of organisms. So take this example. Just look at this picture. When we see this picture, what we do is first we identify as sheep, cat, dog, like that. So it is a natural tendency. The next thing that we do is to classify this as maybe as wild animals and domestic animals, maybe as mammals, maybe as birds and mammals like that. So we have a natural tendency to classify things. So taxonomy is all about the process of classification of living organisms into different groups based on characteristics. That is basically based on similarities and differences between organisms. It involves identification, then naming. The naming is the scientific name in science. And the third thing is classifying it based on similarities and differences. How is taxonomy different from systematics? Taxonomy, as we discussed, it is a process of classification of organisms into different groups based on characteristics. Whereas in the case of systematics, the procedure is the same, but the evolutionary relationship is also considered. The phylogeny or evolutionary history of this organism is also considered. According to systematics, all organisms are having a common ancestor. Therefore, there will be some relationship between all these organisms. So that is taken into account while identification, nomenclature and classification in systematics. So systematics is a process of identification, nomenclature and classification of living organisms along with the study of evolutionary relationship between organisms. Or phylogeny is also taken into account. Now the next question is why we need a scientific name? So this image will give you the answer. Take this organism, take this beautiful cat. In Arabic it is called a squat. In Chinese it is Mao, in Hindi it is Billy, in English it is cat, in Russian it is cot. So this same organism is called by different names in different countries. Think about even the regions within a country, this organism may be called by different names. So there is a problem in identifying this organism universally. Here comes the importance of scientific name. So scientific name is a universal name that is known to everyone around the globe. Here the scientific name of cat is Felis catus that is known to all biologists around the globe denoting the same organism the cat. So each organism needs a universally accepted global name that is understood globally that is called the scientific name. Nomenclature or naming is the process of giving a unique scientific name to an organism. First we need to identify the organism then name it or identification is followed by nomenclature in taxonomy that is followed by classification. Hope this much is clear moving into the next topic that is advantage of having a scientific name. So scientific name as I mentioned it is based on certain rules and regulations that is put forward by ICBN, International Court for Botanical Nomenclature. Now it is known as ICN, International Court of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi and Plants. That's a new name. 
and also in the case of animals it is by ICZ or International Court of Zoological Nomenclature. So these are two autonomous bodies that is regulating, that is providing rules and regulations for naming an organism, naming a plant and an animal. As per the rules, each organism will be given with a unique scientific name that is known globally to everyone, that is understood globally by everyone. Each organism is having a unique name that is not repeated or that is not assigned to other organism. These regulations are called as code. You can see this is the front, front page of that code. Scientific name uses binomial nomenclature. Then what is binomial nomenclature? Bi means two. Nomial means term or two word naming system. That is a binomial nomenclature. It was actually put forward by Carlos Linnaeus, who is called as a father of taxonomy. He used that consistently in his book Species Plundarum. He is regarded as a father of taxonomy. Binomial nomenclature is a formal system of nomenclature in which two terms are used where one used the first one indicating the genus name and the second one the specific epithet. So let's take an example. This is a mango tree and the common name is mango tree and scientific name is Mangifera indica lin. So we'll be discussing what this exactly means. Mangifera indica lin. So this is binomial nomenclature in practice. Mangifera indica. So each scientific name, the first part, Mangifera, it is given in red. And it is a generic name. It is called as a generic name. It should always start with capital letter. It can be abbreviated on second use as M indica in journals, in publications, etc. And the second part is indica. This part is called a specific epithet. It is not capitalized. It's often a descriptive adjective. Indica means the origin is in India. In some cases, euphorbia hirta. Hirta means hairy. The plant is hairy. So often this specific epithet is a descriptive adjective. These are the major part that is the generic name and the specific epithet and this lin is optional and this is called author citation the person who first described and validly published this name the name of the species other rules include scientific names of species are latin binomials or should be latinized irrespective of the origin it should be latinized based on the rules of latin language consists of two words first word is a generic name and second word is a specific epithet when handwritten it should be separately underlined in print it should be in italics to indicate their latin origin so this is binomial nomenclature in practice so we have discussed this much what is biodiversity what is taxonomy taxonomy is simply the science that deals with identification, naming and classification of organisms based on characteristics where a systematics taxonomy plus evolutionary history of the organism is also considered. Then the third point why we need a scientific name. There are many problems with a local name for an organism. So there should be a universal name that is known to everyone globally and that is, and that is understood by everyone globally. That makes the scientific name. The final point is what is binomial nomenclature? It simply means two term nomenclature that use two terms that is a generic name and a specific name to name a species. Hope this much is clear and I will be back with yet another topic. Till then take care. Thanks for watching. You are with biologyexamsforu.com. Thank you so much for your support.